Hi Cancer, this is going to be your art channeled message. I channel messages through art, creativity, really hope my messages inspire you to see the art within yourself and everything around you because everything is symbolic and everything has meaning, including your journey. We all start from a blank canvas, a blank page, and then that's where the magic happens or that's where the art happens. Always view everything as art or creative. And sometimes creativity is very unconventional. You don't know what's going to happen. So keep that in mind. All of my messages are timeless. There's no rules, so you can binge watch them. You can hear it when you're meant to hear it. It really does not matter. Anyways, what I started drawing for you was a skull. Eye sockets, no eyes, no skin, no nothing. And then I got stripped. The surrounding part is a heart. I'm not really getting much with this, but it does give me a Three of Swords death card vibes. Your pain is transforming you. Your pain is about to transform you. It's like you've been stripped of everything, even your skin, figuratively of course, but somehow your heart is still intact. I feel like you're even shocked, like how did I come out of this? And I just saw a vision of like someone being electrocuted or shocked and you can see their bones, their insides. It's like something is very shocking. I'm also seeing shock as in what are those devices that shock the heart in hospitals? I don't know what they're called, but it's like a last effort before something is fatal. Those are usually only used when something is, someone's about to die and it's like a quick, fast measures. It's like before something results in death. I'm seeing death card again. Something very shocking will happen or is happening that will kickstart something. This is rather intense and dark. So I'm seeing pain is about to kickstart something. And I don't want to say this in a, this is a good thing because even though pain can be transformative, it's not, it doesn't take away from the pain. It's probably not the best route. It's not a route everyone wants to go through. We think what doesn't kill you makes you stronger by Kelly Clarkson be a near-death experience or a near-change experience. Something very shocking is happening. But I feel like the ultimate shocker is like, wow, I've endured this. My heart is still intact. Also getting like you're still a good person after all of this. You're trying so hard to be a good person. Maybe you feel like you want some credit for that, and here it is, like, you've, you've made it through the hardest things, and you deserve, you really do deserve credit for this. Because some people, they go through things, and they, I mean, I don't, I can't speak for everybody, but some people go down a very dark path with their pain. They transmute it. I'm getting transmute instead of transform. They transmute it and they hurt other people or do something very much worse than that. But <laughs> here you are worried about whether you hurt other people. It's like you still have a heart and that's, that's just very amazing. I don't know. I feel like you even fear, like someone here is fearing that they're a bad person but you're not. You're still the same person, you've just been through a lot and you have every right to be scared, to be upset. Nobody is perfect. Okay. Gratitude. Oh, See, empathy. That's what I was feeling with you. And then there's a heart up there with a vine around it. I'm seeing growth. You're, you're going to be growing past something. And you're going to have a lot of support. So something very shocking is happening. But you're going to have a lot of support. A lot of love around you. 
So maybe that's how you're getting through this. You, your heart is still intact because you have other people's hearts, other people around you to make you feel, feel good. So I'm saying if you're worried about going through something alone, you will not. Gratitude too is all about being thankful for what you have. So, so I was getting you were being stripped of everything, and I feel like to deal with that, to deal with loss, you're you're looking at what you still have or the, the people, things, people that most people tend to take for granted until it's gone. So I'm seeing you're trying to appreciate your family, who you have around you. They really lift you up. They make you feel loved. It's kind of funny how it said heart. This is a much warmer card than what I channeled here. Weirdly enough, whatever is happening to you or is going to happen to you is going to make you a better person. It's going to make you not take anything for granted anymore. So it could, for all, this could have been a near fucking death experience. I don't know why too, I'm thinking of, I saw this special one time on um, the Oklahoma bombings and she, this lady that was talking about how she almost died, she was saying how she was like praying and praying and hoping she gets a second chance. Like she was thinking of all the things she took for granted and all the things she still wanted to do that she didn't get to do. And then she survived and she lost weight, she started taking better care of herself. She. Oh yeah, she wanted kids, she had a family, like she, just everything she wanted to do, she got, she was able to do. And she was so thankful. Full of, full of gratitude. That she got a second chance. It's like, how did I make it out of this? Yeah, how did I make it out of this? How did I... How did I get out? How did I sneak away? Six of Cups. I'm getting you can't change the past. the hermit this is usually for me as a reader this is my lights camera action card i i sort of see this as a movie set with all the the dramatic effects and it's like and action and then there's the stunt there's the stunt doubles it's like they do all the intense things it's like a living life on the edge i was also getting that shock factor thing something's very shocking so i feel like this was a shocking loss a shocking ending and it really made you appreciate the people you do have i'm also getting something bad could have happened to you or someone you're connected to no one died but it was very scary it was very shocking like someone could have got i'm getting someone got injured someone got injured or did something Maybe stupid, very unwise that led them to getting hurt. And I'm really drawn to how we started with a sword and it's like swords side by side. And here we have cups and then over here we have this. It's like he's giving something to her that's going to result in something much bigger. I think childhood memories. A memory is getting away, or you're you're scared of forgetting something. 
It's like some. It's like you only have memories of something, and you're scared of those leaving. It's like you only have a partial memory, but not the whole story. I'm getting flashbacks too, like little flashbacks or little bits of information. I'm seeing this as paint. It almost looks like the justice card with like the scales and everything. I'm seeing with the Nine of Cups, you're, you're coming up with something very, it's like something creative. You got yourself out of something through creativity. So maybe like you're channeling your pain, that pain I was getting. You're channeling this uncomfortable transition, transformation through creativity. You're channeling your feelings into it. And I'm saying that's a very good way of coping. That's a good coping mechanism. I mean, there's many of them. So it's like you're trying to come up with ways you can... I'm also going to like come up with ways of how you can remember something better. It's like you're putting something out there or you're creating something in memory. In memory of something. A memory of how far you've come. It's like someone even got flowers, you know, like get well soon flowers. Feel better flowers. It's like you have so much, so much love on your side. And definitely try channeling that pain, that three of swords into, like I'm getting paint. You know what else I'm seeing? Like, you know some people throw paint at the wall? Like, that's a way of people um, channeling anger, channeling their emotions. It's just not even thinking much about what you're doing. Just, just throwing the paint, being creative, lashing, almost like you're lashing out on the canvas. And I always do say, it's like we all, start, we all start from a blank canvas. A lot of things are unconventional. We don't know why they happen. So that's just how you're dealing with it. I definitely see this Three of Cups as like, you almost lost your life. You almost chose like the wrong path. Or you did something very, very maybe stupid that you regret. And also seeing like... You, you tend to look look back on it. Like you reflect almost a little too much. I'm still seeing get well flowers and like um, little tidbits of memory. You don't remember the accident or you don't, you don't remember what happened. You don't want to, but you do. It was very shocking, like in shock. It's like you're now coming to terms with it. Passion. I'm getting like newfound passion. You found a new passion. Oh my god. You remember how I said I was channeling um that thing I saw with the Oklahoma, Oklahoma bombings where she was like, there's so many things. It's like she saw the life right before her eyes and she's like, wait. I'm not done living yet. There's still things I want to do. There's still things I want to take up, like hobbies, having kids, things I want to change. Like, I'll do better if you give me a second chance. And it's like, it's almost like God gave you a second chance or it's like, all of this happened for a reason, but not in the way you think, like in a toxic positivity way. It's like, you have a new zest for life. <laughs> And a new passion for things. Like I want, there's so many things I want to do. So many things I want to learn. 
I feel like too, like there's a sense of maturing, maturity. And the woman, woman is pregnant in that card. So it's like you saw the future before your eyes. Like there's so many things I want to do. It's not over yet. Your life isn't over, Cancer. It has just begun. That's what it feels like. I'm also getting you're going to be living for a long time. I feel like you're just reflecting on your younger self or older decisions. I feel like you're also trying to be compassionate with like the past, who you used to be, instead of being mean, instead of think thinking like you're an idiot, because you're not. You're not an idiot. You might be a fool, but not in that sense. Hey Cancer, that's the end of your message. Please like, subscribe, support the channel any way you can. And yeah. It's okay to reflect on the past, but don't beat yourself up for it. It's like it's almost like you you literally got a second chance at life. I don't know what's up with me channeling like death and past life reincarnation lately, but it's very interesting. I've been getting that with a lot of signs. And remember, gratitude. Surround yourself with love. Hey guys, bye.